Maya Angelou once said, you can't know where you're going unless you know where you've been. Now, Georgia's newest national park can help you take a journey through the past. All right, joining us to explain are the Pattis brothers, Jim and Will, with more than just parks. Hey, guys. More uh, than just parks. We got a new addition here with one of them. We do. <laughs> This is little, who, yeah, who, this little Caroline yeah. here. Uh, Mom has an appointment this morning, so she gets to chat with you guys today. Oh, well, we're glad that she's here. Oh my Congratulations. Gosh, that, that's so oh, awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so Jim, we'll start with you. Uh, you're at Ock Mulgee Mounds National Historic Park. What makes this site so significant and interesting? Well, thanks, Jim, for having me on. And I think, you know, I'm I'm standing here in my home state of Georgia. Um, one of the really cool things about this national park is that it's in Macon. So it's, it's in a town, but you feel worlds away. Um, right behind me is the Earth Lodge. This is a really incredible, famous um, site. Um, and there are mounds all to my left um, off in the distance. And it's, this is, there, we're talking about 12,000 years of continuous human habitation here. Some of the very first people to ca cross the Bering Land Bridge came here. Um, so Ice Age, you know, all these amazing artifacts have been unearthed. And it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous area. Yeah, it looks like it. Wow. Will, there are more than five dozen national parks in the U.S. Can you break down how exactly a national park comes about? It's a, a lengthy, lengthy process as Senator Ossoff, who has worked on this for a long time, as has the mayor pro tem uh, in Macon, Seth Clark. Those are two guys who have really done so much to help make this park happen. Um, currently, where this is, is in the process, it's actually a really unique park. Um, if the national park designation comes through, this will be the first ever co-managed tribal national park. So the National Park oh. Service will co-administer this with the Muscogee tribe. Um, as Jim alluded to earlier, you know, in Georgia, we know the Muskogee as Creek, but uh, it will be co-managed by both of those. And so that's going to be a really, really unique thing that we're super excited about. Yeah, that should be something we do more than just yeah. in this park. Uh, we'll take a break, Will, because I know you're carrying that, that heavy load there. <laughs> Jim, you guys are getting ready to start on what you're calling the most important project of your careers. Tell us more about uh, how you're going to involve that with the parks. Yeah, well, this is just such a historic opportunity. I mean, Will just mentioned this being the first, you know, co-managed tribal park. Um, you're talking about a co-managed tribal park from a removed people. Um, you know, the Trail of Tears ran right through here. And mm -hmm. um, so, you know, those people will be able to come back and help tell the story of this incredible park. This was the Washington, D.C. of the Creek Nation. It was a bustling, wow. um, really incredible civilization here. And it's just an amazing, amazing opportunity to make this a park and bring visitors into this beautiful part of the state and, and to really see a part of our, our American heritage. Yeah. Well, why is it so important to share your passion about parks with others? And how has that changed since this uh, little one came into the world? Uh, it's for Jim and I, like we started this over a decade ago now. We've actually been with you guys for that long, you know, chatting about these places. Um, so I think for us, uh, to, especially for this project where we can be on the ground floor helping to make this thing happen, it's just a, kind of a dream come true and also just a realization of our mission at More Than Just Parks. Um, you'll see like in about a month, we're going to release this film on this national park and it is going to be, I think, really cool. You can see that on our website, more than just parks.com, and also our Substack, but they're going to use this film to sell it basically the park to Congress members and show them how cool and how special this place is. Um, and I think when folks see it, they're going to see this is a really, really beautiful spot. Guys, how much cooler is it in there? I only got about 10 seconds. Well, let me tell you, when you walk into that Earth Lodge, you can actually walk inside of that and see a reconstructed, you know, where they used to hold ceremonies and things. Yeah. And it is it's much, much cooler <laughs> in there. Uh, so I'm going to yeah. jump in there real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I think the little one's excited about it, too. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll let you get film. going there, Will and Jim Pats, uh, with More Than Just Parks. Thank you for joining us and for all Great the stuff, work guys. that you guys are doing. We appreciate you. Mm -hmm.